my name is Benjamin Tuttle and today we're going to make a very simple prop in Blender considering it's ho almost Halloween we're going to do a blood puddle so for those who are a little squeamish who don't like blood maybe this isn't the tutorial for you but for those who are really new to Blender who want to make stuff in Blender not only that but animate and then put it into iClone this is actually a fairly good starter tutorial for you so first things first is we're going to turn on uh, get our blender going and then turn on our screencast keys um, well I'm going to you don't really have to so for anybody who's really new to blender um, this will display pretty much what I'm clicking so first things first we're gonna right click because right click is select for those who are really new to blender they'll realize why isn't it working why is it doing this when I press left click well it's right click and we're going to return the cursor back to its origin so shift C okay and this is our camera lamp and cube but we don't need any of these so we're gonna press A twice and then X and delete it all right, so we have a completely, everything's empty, nothing in the outliner. First things first is we're going to add mesh plane. All right, so we have our plane here. Just a simple little plane. We're going to extrude it, so we're going to press tab and make sure uh, everything is selected. And we're going to press, and since we're in our edit mode, which displays everything, we're going to press E and move it up 0 0.025. There we go. All right, and we're going to press tab again and back to object mode. Or you could just put it back to, you can click on this and put it to edit mode, but it's easier just to use the hotkey. So tab is to edit mode, tab is object. So we're going to go back to edit mode again, so press tab. Make sure it's in edit mode. Control, tab. We'll bring it up to the face. So, we're at face. There's edge, vertice, but face, we're gonna do right now. Um, right click the bottom plane, and we're going to just delete that by pressing X. All right. Now, a square blood puddle isn't really gonna look intimidating at all. So first things first, um, we're going to go to our modifier. So this little wrench, you see the camera and everything, go to the wrench, add modifier, subdivision surface. Okay. And what it does, it just kind of breaks it down, makes things much more smoother. Um, well, it divides everything. But um, we're gonna go to our edit mode again. We're going to press control and tab edge select our edge press control R to do a loop cut and here this is up to you want to see how your blood puddle looks basically all we have to do is make another loop cut control R and just move it around and kinda if you want you can move the edges around just like that here so it kinda shapes the blood puddle so kind of shape your blood puddle, just kind of move it around. If you want to add another more detail here, you could do that as well. Shift C, made a mistake. I still kind of still do the, uh, I still uh, press left click once in a while. There we go. And just kind of shape your blood puddle just like that. Okay, well, that's kind of flat, so, right here, I'm just going to select this, there we go, alright, now, it kind of looks blocky, so we're just going to see if it's smooth, does anything, if this works for you, it works, you can do that, but if you want it much more detailed, go to, uh, go to this panel here, view, just kind of do it maybe twice, maybe three if you really want to uh, three times but keep in mind every time you click that the uh, the faces go up so I think view 3 is good 
and then just press apply okay so we have our blood pump our basic shape and make sure the uh, the cursor is in the center here and we're going to uh, just go to th move this thing here next to object and then our viewport shading it's a pivot point put it to 3d cursor all right next things uh, next thing is we're going to uh, pretty much put this thing into our material settings so right next two spaces down from the wrench is our material press new I'm just gonna call it blood we can tweak this in iClone so you don't really have to kind of follow this step here this is just more of a reference and but the first thing we need to do is we need to go one over and apply a UV map so we have new and everything right click press tab A and A again make sure everything's selected press U unwrap cube projection and just leave it like that alright so it's back to uh, when you do that here we'll go to our UV mapping here you can select it it will pretty much look like this. You'll see why I, I did this later on. But first we're going to go back to our properties here. So select the bottom left here and I'll go to properties and everything will go back to normal. Okay, so now it's time to animate it. Now animation in Blender, I like, I prefer animating props in Blender than and baking it and then putting it into iClone because it's uh, it's a lot smoother in the transition curves. It's much more natural. You'll see it a lot in my uh, fairground rides. Uh, how it doesn't completely come to a complete stop. It just kind of eases in. And I pretty much prefer that heavily. So. Sorry, I thought the dog got out. Alright, never mind. Uh, first things first is we're going to make this pretty small. So um, before we start that, actually, we're going to press this red circle here. It does an automatic keyframe, so you don't have to enter it every time. So we're just going to press S and then scale it. Okay. And that makes our first key point. But first, um, there's only 250 frames. Let's move this up to 1,000. And then we're going to go to keyframe 1000. And this is pretty much how we, uh, oops. I'm supposed to click that. Uh, let's go to keyframe 1000 here and then just kind of scale it to the size, whatever you feel is net. All right. And that's it. By pressing Alt and A, it basically animates the prop or shows you how the prop is animated. And as you can tell, it's not too bad. Alrighty, so yeah, it's kind of growing in size. You can we can slow this down in iClone when we want when we can. All right. So that's done. Um, we're going to select everything and basically the prop is done. That's all it is. It's, see, it's not too bad. We're going to export it as an FBX file. Make sure the animation is baked into it. You can do it 7.4. I used to do 6.1 but now it's kind of tweaked up a little bit so I don't have to worry about it as much. So I'm just going to call it Blood Puddle. and export keep blender open just in case something goes wrong or save it so if something goes wrong with the conversion you can always fall back on so you don't waste a whole lot of time so now that we have our 3d exchange open let's just throw this in here I pointed out um, why I do uh, why I put it in an FBX file when it saves the animation, but you also want to get into the habit of doing it when you put your props in. Because, um, as I explain, one Blender unit equals one iClone unit equals one meter. 
just don't want to throw that one out there. So, I mean, the face count isn't too bad. It's just 2048, so it's not going to kill us. Uh, first things first, you want to make sure your uh, animation is good. There was a check mark here, so we're going to just kind of click on it and watch it play. This is pretty much, um, make sure it's all right here. You don't want to pause that, otherwise it just kind of stops. Okay. This is going to take a while, so we'll just kind of... There we go. Okay. Make sure it does the same thing here. Yep, there we go. Okay, so it animates. We're, we're just going to throw this into uh, iClone, so export into iClone here, make sure the blood puddle, make sure you click on the export animation. And um, the funny thing is, um, if you have stuff hidden or if, you know old, uh, stuff hidden, it's not going to export the animation. You want to make sure everything's there. So if you're doing like a car and you're tweaking it, and you have some things, make sure you delete it, into blend, delete it in the blender. Don't hide it in 3D Exchange, otherwise it's not going to work. So, just kind of put this in the props here. And it's time to open up iClone. As you can see, I think I've made like four or five copies of this. Um, in the past few nights, it took me a while to actually get this thing working. All right. You know, there was a lot of interruptions, but that's uh, that's just going off random here. So I'm going to select a prop here. I believe I called it blood puddle. Yep, there it is. Okay. So it starts out small, and what's going to what it's going to do is it's going to grow. And I just kind of keep it growing. You know, if you stop it, it's well. It's just going to do perfect. All right. I'm going to add a plane here just kind of for reference. You probably have your. Um, might as well throw this in. Uh, yeah, might as well. Let's just throw this in here. Okay, everybody, I'm back. And uh, I've said this many times. I'm just going to. First things first, I'm just going to change the ambient lighting because I don't like. How, uh, I don't like the default lighting setup, so I just delete it. And I just like to create spotlights here. This is a habit which I think a lot of people should start taking in. Um, going by default lighting setup in iClone. So we're just gonna I'm just gonna assemble it pretty quickly here. What I do is I like to make a dummy. So I like to create a primitive surface and a box and then have just the spotlight look at it and then hide the hide the dummy here. Alright, and then just kinda this I could spend a long time on this, I I'll say that much. And just point create nothing but point lights and spotlights. Okay. And then we're going to make a character. We're just going to throw in a random low poly avatar. Maybe, you know. hmm. um, I'm just going to throw in uh, one of those default uh, citizen extras. If I can find it. Okay. Eh, casual. Reason why. Low poly. Doesn't. Low poly. Easy to animate. Doesn't crash the game. Or crash the, uh, the program. <laughs> when I do these tutorials. And I'm just gonna find death. And first things first. Just. You know, there we go. Alright. So I'm gonna delete that. Uh, remove object animation. Just move them over to a spot right here okay delete 
make sure they're not blinking and play the blood puddle will grow um, first things first yeah there he is um now as you can tell it kind of looks a little bit gimmicky if um, if you put it in red and blender don't worry this is why I did the uh, well, first thing, I'm just going to hide the guy here first. This is why I said you don't have to worry about it until you get to Blender. So, um, it'll be named under root node here. So we have one plane, which is blood. Uh, just kind of tweak your settings here. Go to diffuse and then just kind of just kind of tweak the settings a little bit. Make sure it's a little dark. There we go. And then next things first, I like to uh, set the opacity down to 90. Blood is kind of, it's not like really thick or anything like that. You just want 85 to 90 is good. In fact, maybe I should set it down just like up to here a little bit. There we go. Alrighty. Now that's done. So something like that. Um, next thing is we're going to add in a reflection map, and it's going to start at 100 or zero. I like to do it maybe about 10. Sim and then we're going to add a blend. I like to use this, or well, you can choose whatever blend map you can. Um, And then just kind of change the opacity, maybe just a little darker. It's it's a lot of tweaking. And see how that looks here with our character. And if you feel like the blood is moving a little faster. You can also tweak the animation. So we're going to go back to our root node. Go to animation. And you can cut whatever is good here. So break. Nice. Um, basically, if you don't like the material settings, you can just change it. It's pretty much... It's pretty much at a point where uh, it's all about tweaking. Just it's pretty much all trial and error. There we kind of did a break, and uh, you can expand it out by clicking on this. Hmm. I don't really like the uh, don't like the blend map. I feel like the reflection could be maybe about. 18 ish. And change it here just to dark red. And then change it probably back up to 90. And you also can change the size of this too. I mean, kind of tweak it in an iClone like yeah, 600. Just like maybe 50 to 60%. I think this is actually, uh, yeah, it works pretty well. Um, yeah, it's pretty decent. It's a little bit macabre, but <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, this, I'm going to put a little disclaimer. I probably said it at the beginning, but I'm going to say it. This isn't really for anybody who uh, is really comfortable with blood. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, well, happy Halloween, people.